All right, we are back from the break. And uh, you were talking to the elven prisoner of the uh, pirates, Linellius. Do you have mm -hmm. any more uh, questions that you wanted to ask him? Uh, Solas would ask, uh, uh, did he get to see other officers except the uh, Red New York and the Chick Chill uh, of the pirates? Uh, yes, he, uh, he says that, um, the wizard Dalaran, uh, he picked up that name, uh, was in there occasionally, um, there was someone else that he never actually saw who participated, um, uh, did you hear anything about Orc Spellcaster that was part of their... Uh, so when you mention that, he uh, he kind of furrows his brow and says, "No, no, I I was not aware they had an orc on their crew." Yes, and from the preliminary preliminary question we did uh, to the Red Yard and uh, other officers that are still alive, that orc was the one that helped the Red Yard with those uh, uh, secret things that you want us to deliver to elves. That is... That is extremely worrying. And... Uh, that orc also managed to escape. That is even more worrying. That means that they... If they gathered the information, if he managed to make off with it, they... Hmm. This this needs to be uh, shared with the elves as soon as we yes. can. You're, you're we planning to head to them as soon as we leave here. Yes, yes. we we were planning on delivering Red Njord and other officers to the Elven Navy. We we may also be able to track the the orc down. We managed to track down and rescue another ship that Red Njord attacked. Uh by obtaining a wedding ring belonging to one of the crewmen. Yeah, if they if the orc left anything personal be behind, we might be able to use magical means to track him. That would be uh, quite handy. I'm sure the elves would be more than interested in uh, knowing his location. Yes, I gathered that the elves might be quite willing to uh, be grateful if uh, we would at least manage to find his location, or even if we manage to capture or eliminate him. Also, eliminating any information that he has, we could not let yes. this fall into others' hands. Yes. Yes, I gather this is quite an important military secret. Was this orc working on his own, do you know, or did he have allies outside of Njord's pirate gang? Uh, uh, what, uh, uh, well, uh, I don't know if Laftel has mentioned uh, as the fact that the orc said that his work here was done. Yeah, or I don't know either. Like that. But if, if Laftel has mentioned, uh, then Solas would mention that. I think we'll go uh, with the assumption that he hasn't, just until we can yeah. confirm that. Mm -hmm. Okay, sounds good. Uh, he did not seem to be too too caring of his comrades. <laughs> but, uh, you haven't had much experience with orcs, that's pretty common with them. Uh, oh yeah, but uh, they still had a chance to escape her with themselves so before he escaped. Himself. We we managed to sneak into uh, two of the pirate bases in the Sphere, so we know they've had dealings with those places. We don't know if that orc is working with anyone else. Perhaps perhaps the local elves will have some information that will assist us. Yes, indeed, indeed. Anything else that you want to ask him or share with him? 
Chases on uh, more of a personal note. Uh, Solas notes that he has, he seems to be having uh, broken bones that have not set correctly. And uh, if he wishes, Solas could uh, during uh, the travel uh, try and start uh, healing those properly. Uh, you you know that it, your your skills are not uh, um, capable enough to heal those wounds. Ah. Well, then nothing. I mean, you can do some of the superficial stuff. Um, he's very weak right now. He, he has some fr fresh injuries. Uh, he's already been healed a little bit, so some of that's been taken care of. Um, yeah. But, you know, some tending over the next couple days will get him... In other words, it'll get him back up to max hit points. Uh, his movement is going to be fixed at 6 rather than 12. Yeah. Um, he will also uh, ask, uh, did you find amongst uh, their things a, a ring? It has a, a unicorn on it. And a sword and... Elven male? Uh, we did find uh, something like that. Oh, I yeah. gathered those are yours. Yes, yes, those are those are uh, my personal items. Uh, did you find a spell book with them? I think we found a few books with them. We can go over them with you and see if any of them are yours. Uh, yes, yes, I would appreciate that. All right, anything else that you want to talk to him about? <laughs> Currently distracted, trying to find out if we did find his ring. <laughs> um. No, I mean, I'm I'm guessing that he needs to rest. Yeah. So like, there's there's other things Braxton would like to ask him, but we kind of need to let him rest. All right. Um, is there anything we might be able to make that would help him, like a staff or something, to, that would help him walk around until he can get proper healing? Uh, no, he doesn't. He's not. He doesn't. He's not going to need like crutches or a staff or anything to lean on. Uh, it's just that his his gait is wrong and stuff like that, mm -hmm. so uh, he's going to be walking slowly, limping, that sort of thing. But he doesn't need because uh, again, like like part of yeah. the the torture you can kind of tell is that sometimes he was broken and then intentionally healed incorrectly. Yeah, I'm not sure we got his ring. Uh, I, th I think definitely because I, th I remember reading it off. Oh right. Uh, okay. There, there is a ring with a unicorn. Yeah. There is. Oh, yeah. I, I didn't notice it. Uh, I'm also wondering if that thing that we saw. In... But the uh, spell book was not among those. At least not uh, marked on our. Uh, I'm also wondering if that thing we saw in one of the moon's bases of uh, Nuitari was his. <laughs> Laftel saw something in the shop. Uh, Laftel will probably... I'll, I'll probably need Zakad to be around to ask him about that. Yeah. He might not Might not even ask. I mean, he doesn't he have it, so... He yeah. didn't end up buying it. Or stealing it, or anything like that, so... Okay, well, in that case... Um, what we can do is... Uh, get some work done on the items. Uh, you do have a bard on the Octave Arcane. She is going to be willing to look at some of the items, see if she can uh, figure out their uh, their history. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, she and some others can cast uh, Detect Magic. Uh, you might still want to get a Detect Magic for other uses, because they're just going to be... I'm going to just, like, let you know what stuff they can get on um, items you've already collected. If you want to search around with a Detect Magic on, that's going to be up to you. Uh, 
Um, I, I think that because we're missing two people and they might have some questions and uh, Laftal has some spells that he wants to cast uh, before you do a whole, you know, do too much, um, I'm going to try to keep you guys from leaving the planet. <laughs> so we're going to try to get some other stuff done. <laughs> um, so you want to start looking at some of the items that you picked up? Uh, back quickly. Sorry to interrupt. Um, obviously, I'll be out for the rest of the session. I come back briefly. Obviously, my mom's and ambulance had to get that done. Uh, obviously, I would have cast my thought captures and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm going to try to hold off until next session. For oh, right. That Sorry. Uh, That's fine. Zach had a quick question. Yeah. Could what? you have mentioned to the rest of the party about the orc uh, saying that his uh, work here was done or something along those Yeah, I would have shared all that. All of it. Okay. Okay. Uh, obviously, Sorry. yeah, I can't stay. Right. Yeah, yeah stay no, no, safe. no. Totally understandable. Yeah, you, yeah, you just... You just go and uh, take care of your mom. All right. So you want to go back and and ask Glenn Elias about that, or mention that to yeah. him? Yeah, yeah. I think we should mention it to him. Uh, that's gonna make him even more worried. <laughs> like he doesn't. It, it's not gonna have any anything that he's gonna be able to expand yeah. upon. But that just confirms to him that. Uh, there's someone that he's working with someone and there's something else going on that that worries him well it uh, it uh, gives him the option of uh, analyzing it more while we travel to the elves yep and he's uh, involved party so he should have the knowledge okay all right, so um, yeah, you ready for me to indicate uh, what the uh, other spellcasters will tell you about items that you picked up? Uh, I'm just trying to work out what we got right down. Uh, school and sphere for magic detection on items, primarily. Right, so I've got wizard detect magic and priest detect. Oh, looks like someone's clicking in something. Is someone else doing stuff? Yeah. Are you doing uh, it? Wizard... And I haven't clicked. Uh, I can really, take care the, of this part. The, Brilliant. Uh, okay. The wizard, wizard detect gives the schools and the priest gives the uh, spheres. Okay, thanks. Thanks, Finn. All right, uh, do you want to start with specific items or do you want me to go down my list? I'm fine uh, with whatever is easiest for you. We've got them in an order. Yes, Sorry, we, we, let Finn talk. Let Finn talk. I was gonna say I don't know if our list is in the same order as yours. So right, it might not be, and it probably isn't. So that's kind of why I'm 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 up to you. Whatever you want to do. Like, do you want to say this item, and then I I find that and give you the information, or do you want me to say this item, give you the information, and you have to find it? Uh, probably <laughs> easier if I just give you each item in the list as we go. Okay. Uh, so from the Zichio, scroll tube was two ah. scrolls. Interrupt. Yep. Go further up. We should start with the uh, dragon horde. Okay. Do we have that with us here? Or... Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh -huh. Then uh, first one and on that. We... And we already know that these things are, are magical. A ring made of carved and bleached animal bone. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. Give me a second. All right. Looks like I need to uh, make a no quick note of something. Give me a second. All right. Uh, Alia is not going to be able to give you any information about that specifically. Um, what she's going to be able to do is look at items that may have some sort of historical significance 
that may be particularly unique. Um, so that's going to eliminate all the potions from that. You're only going to get uh, spells, uh, schools, and spheres out of that. Mm -hmm. um, so ring made of a carved and bleached animal bone. That has uh, enchantment charm for wizards and protection for a priest. Uh, let's see. Wooden tube with a thin sheet of flexible bark within, covered in strange patterns of some sort of dark dye. Okay, what I will say is that you guys had a, a chance to, um, like, someone will cast Read Magic, figure out what the spells are for the Wizard Scrolls and Protection Scrolls, and the priests can have uh, uh, prayed over them for to figure out what they are, what's on them for Priest Scrolls. So that is a... Scroll of Protection from Magic. Okay. Next one we have is a carved bone amulet in the shape of a bundle of arrows on a leather thong. Would be small for a giant, but is pretty large for a humanoid. Okay. Aelia's not going to be able to give you any information about that. Uh, that is... Alteration for wizards and numbers for a priest. Numbers, nice. One of the specialist spheres. Okay, next is a large animal horn carved with spiral symbols and dyed with natural red and yellow dyes. All right, I need to check something. Give me just a second. I forgot to write down what schools and spheres for these, so that's why I'm, I have to think of them uh, immediately. Um, that is going to be for priest elemental air. Just need to check the wizard. Uh, that is going to be Invocation Evocation for Wizard. Okay, and that's it for that group. Red Nord, Zichil, uh, scroll tube with two scrolls. Okay. All right, that is the first one, um, and I can uh, copy these over to you. Uh, they're both priest, uh, piece, priest scrolls. One has Putrefy Food and Drink, Aid, Produce Flame, Memory Rack, Scourge, Transmute Water to Dust, all at 13th level. And like I said, I'll, I'll copy these over to you guys afterwards. Uh, and the other one has one spell on it, Spike Stones at 11th level. Okay, that one I got, so. Okay. Alright. Mirror's uh, use of spell. Right of items. Okay, Wizard Helmsman. Smooth oaken heartwood staff with silver and steel caps and bands. You didn't have anything else for that Zix Chill right there, or is it somewhere else? Didn't have anything right there. Okay. Had a variety of items for healing and injuring people. Okay, fair enough. 
that is going to be invocation, evocation, and combat. A ring carved from ivory with strands of platinum twining around the band. Okay, that is Alteration and Travelers. A dark blue full hooded cloak with silver clasp that always appears to flutter in the wind. Invocation, Evocation, and Elemental Air. Okay. Uh, he had a scroll tube with two scrolls. Okay. Uh, that is... One is a priest spell scroll, and one is a wizard spell scroll. On the priest scroll... There are three spells, Animal Growth, True Scene, and Reverse Time at 12th level. And the Wizard Spell Scroll has one spell, Greater Sign of Sealing, at 12th level. Okay. Uh, let's see, spell components, a dim magical light. I don't know that we really need to identify that. Yeah, no, that was just, like, if you remove it, that light is going to break anyway, so that's just in his, uh, that was in his quarters. That's how he lit his quarters. Oh, okay. Is it so obvious that it will break if we yeah. remove it? Yeah. Okay, we'll leave it there then. Um, from the helmsman's room, there were four books. Are any of them detecting uh, any magic? You guys will need to cast dis detect magic on those things. Okay. I, in part because, like, I kind of would assume that you wouldn't have immediately moved all of them, uh, just <laughs> because it's a lot of books and and stuff like that. You'd you'd want to you might want to be careful. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we'll pass them for now. Yeah. Uh, sorcerer's spell components. A white ash shaft with blue metal caps and a clear uncut quartz crystal on the tip. Okay. Uh, just to be clear, that is a wand. Okay. Uh, that has invocation, evocation, and creation. Okay. Just... Okay. A silvery wooden shaft bound in brass with an unworked orange octahedral fluorite crystal held in a claw setting at the tip. Okay. Also a wand, divination, and a divination. Okay. And then she had a scroll tube with three scrolls. Okay, they're all wizard sp wizard scrolls. Uh, one has one spell of mislead at twelfth level. Another one has wall of fire at ninth level. And then there's one with seven spells: taunt, locate object, Maximilian stony grasp, contingency, eye bite. Lesser Cleaving, and Incendiary Cloud, all at 16th level. Okay. You could pass me a list of that later, that would be appreciated. Yep. And then Unworked Orange Chloride. Uh, no, that's that was uh, part of that, um, that wand. Oh, okay. Zakat had actually asked me about that last night. Oh, yeah, I see the note now. Okay. Um, her room is all books. Uh, 
Rogang's armor and shield are the ones that, and sword are the ones that Ocker's interested in. Uh, yeah, he specifically to return them. So, yep. But I don't think we need to do any identification on those. No. Unless we want are curious. Any of the shields on the wall in Hrolgang's room? No. Okay. So from Red Njord, suit of supple yet thick leather made from the hide of a manticore decorated with gold scroll work. Okay, that has enchantment charm and protection. Let's see if Alia can identify, uh, can recognize that. Uh, she can. She has heard about uh, an armor like this. Um, uh, that leather armor was uh, apparently crafted for a legendary swashbuckler, swashbuckling privateer uh, in realm space uh, by the name of Faldor of Dragonrock. Um, something about a century ago, give or take. Um, he was seen by most as kind of a foppish idiot early in his career, uh, but he surprised most of the Spelljammers in Realm Space by assaulting a Thavian vessel with minimal losses on his cruise part, liberating a variety of creatures being taken back to Toril for study, uh, and a number of powerful magical items. Um, with the proceeds of that, he was able to uh, purchase this armor, get it enchanted, and everything like that. Um, it was lost at the time of his death, uh, believed to be at the hands of pirates, Thavians, Neogear, or Lithids uh, about 75 years ago, and hasn't really been seen since. Uh, that is... So that's... It's leather armor with a, a pretty decent enchantment. She can't tell you exactly what. And I can give you that description later, of course, if you yes, give it, if you I... share that, you know, like if you decide that that's going to um, uh, Octave Arcane or uh, Star Knights, then uh, doesn't matter that much. Yep. Mm -hmm. Multiple members of the uh, uh, Octave Arcane would probably be interested in that. Mm -hmm. A broadsword, a blade of clearly dwarven manufacture with silver angled quillions, and a polished Alex Palm. Pommel. Pommel. Ah, there's a missing yeah. letter. Uh, that is... I may have missed that when I was copying it over. Uh, that has enchantment, charm, and combat. And let's see if Alia can recognize that. Uh, she does not. Okay. All right, a small dagger with a gold hilt and small polished jade pommel. Uh, when a button is pressed in the, by the thumb near the quillion, the blade divides into three. And on and on. Okay, uh, that has alteration and enchantment charm for him on the wizard side, and combat on the priest side. And that was, uh, Alia has heard of this weapon, she believes. Um, it's known as Bladebane. The uh, dagger itself was created by some gnomish followers of Gond in Realm Space about 50 years ago, give or take. Um, enchanted for a m wealthy merchant's son on Dragon Rock named Keladath Granim. Uh, Keladath was a duelist who often challenged his peers, and he used this blade not only to help defend himself, but also to shatter some of the valuable blades of his rivals. Uh, unfortunately, he challenged a very experienced pirate at one point, who was in disguise at the time, uh, in one of the seedier taverns on Dragon Rock. Um, that pirate, by the name of Brathtor the Knave, uh, took the challenge, uh, but shot him rather than fight fair, and took the weapons from his bleeding corpse. Uh, that weapon is believed to be able to grant uh, some additional protection to the one who wields it, because um, it is a parrying dagger, and it may also be able to uh, make it easier to break an opponent's weapon. And 
supple black leather boots, shin high with turned down cuffs. Okay, alteration and travelers. Uh, scroll tube with one scroll. Uh, that is a wizard spell scroll. Has three spells. Hypnotic Pattern, Fireball, and Demi Shadow Monsters at 10th level. Okay. And a short bow designed for 17 strength. Uh, not magical. Okay. Uh, Sard Bloodstone. Dwarven sized suit of banded armor with silver edging and lapis lazuli on the collar. Just a second. Okay, enchantment charm in combat. And let's see. Um, Iliad doesn't specifically recognize the armor itself, uh, like as a, an individual item, but uh, uh, she believes that uh, um, it's of a sort that was kind of common amongst um, powerful Dagar warriors on Kryn before the Cataclysm. Uh, so it's definitely magical. Uh, she couldn't tell you what level of protection it has, uh, even you know, like uh, even at a, a guess kind of thing. Um, but it is over 300 years old. Actually, sorry, hey. that, that armor should have protection, not combat. For the uh, priest seer. Okay. A steel-headed flail with wooden haft banded in silver and lapis lazuli. Um, it has the same pedigree as the uh, armor. Um, so it's over 300 years old from uh, uh, the uh, Dergar kingdoms on Kryn, uh, has enchantment charm and combat on it. All right. He had a scroll tube with two scrolls. Okay. One of them has, they're both priest spell scrolls. One has music of the spheres, adaptation, and cure serious wounds at ninth level. And the second one has Command and Softwood at ninth level. Okay. Wait a minute. It's a spell component, so Vringir. He's a Lear of Heart Space Mahogany. It was inlaid space swine ivory and golden strings. Sorry to interrupt. Yep. Was it this guy or the other guy who the stuff stolen from someone in brown space? That was Frawl Gang. Oh, right, okay. Uh, so the uh, that liar is Divination and Traveler. Simple wheel lock pistol with steel barrel and dark oak grip. Uh, enchantment charm in combat. Uh, leather armor. Uh, that leather armor is not magical, nor is the short sword. Okay. Uh, in his room, a gold ring with a single pearl. Don't think that's magical. Let me double check. Uh, 
No, it is not magical. Neither is the uh, the necklace. I think I gave you the uh, gave you guys the uh, values on those. Okay. Well. Nope, not on those two. Okay. I'll give it to you after the game. Okay. Okay, okay so Blother throwing axe. Okay. All right, that has uh, Conjuration, Summoning, and Enchantment Charm, and Combat. And Alia, um, she's heard a, a story of this. Uh, its name is Nafyardar. Um... I'm never going to spell that. Yeah, so. that's fine. That's fine. Uh, Ocker would be able to tell you that that means uh, um, uh, Corpse Fjord, uh, or yeah, it's kind of like a, a fancy way of saying grave. Uh, that throwing axe was crafted many hundreds of years ago in a distant sphere that is not recorded, uh, dominated by the warring bands of uh, Viking cultures. Um that axe was crafted for one of the more aggressive and violent Jarls, and he had it enchanted specifically to injure and kill enemy warriors. It was lost when a coalition of enemy nations banded together to uh, defeat the Jarl uh, and uh, shatter his kingdom. It eventually resurfaced in realm space uh, about six years ago, uh, being used by a dwarven bodyguard who uh, marketed his services to various merchants. Uh, but whatever ship he was, uh, one of the ships that he was serving on never returned to port. And then a black hafted axe with silver inlaid filigree and carved runes. Oh, sorry, that was uh, Nafyardar. Okay. The two hand axes are not magical. Okay. And a suit of mail armor with a slight golden sheen. Okay, that has enchantment charm and protection. And let's see. Alia doesn't know anything about it. Okay. From Czar. Heavily used minotaur sized male. Give me a second. Um that is not magical. Okay. And a six-foot-long haft with broad, bearded axe head blade with a long spike above it. Axe blade is jaggedly cut and inlaid with gold and silver scroll work. Uh, Ilya has not heard of that one. Okay. That has enchantment charm and invocation evocation and combat. Ready? Um, back of the cave is just pillage cargo and in the insect suits. Our amorphous blob had three standard long swords. I'm guessing those weren't magical. Correct. Um, Draconian had the belt of pou or girdle of pouches, but it was destroyed. Yep. Um. So in the armory, we found suit of elven mail, other pieces of clothing, stuff of elven make, silver ring, unicorn, and a strong box containing bags, gems, and jewelry. I'm guessing that's the elf prisoner stuff. Yeah, all of that equipment, uh, Len Elias would uh, um, identify as his own. Okay. Uh, oh, just to interrupt charts. quickly, that belt of power to somebody had, I can't remember who, had the theory that we might be able to use something like limited wish to bring it back in order to get stuff out of the pouches. Sure. Yeah, I mean, I've still thought that, but uh, he's not here at the moment. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if you guys want to uh, keep it, a... that's fine. It's not going to count towards mm -hmm. your uh, uh, the it... treasure division thing because yeah, no one also else is going to be interested. Not... 
also, also it was not just the stuff from the pouches, but possibly get the pa uh, uh, item itself back. Mm -hmm. Which would okay. be handy. Mm, maybe. Okay, so in one of the rooms beneath a small right or beneath the bed, there was a small strong box with a trap. Trap's disarmed, but it's magically locked, and we have not opened it yet. All right, let's wait until uh, Laptel's back. Yeah, okay. He wanted to do it tomorrow with the Nog spell. Okay. Um, and then that appears to be it in that list. Yep, that's the end. And then potions? That's mm -hmm. right, they're on a different tab now. Okay. Yes, and the potions and the <laughs> scrolls. Okay. So back to... Uh, Zixil. Ceramic flask with dull, gray, lumpy liquid inside. Okay, that's enchant enchantment charm and a plant. Okay, one second, I want to uh, move some. I want to move a column here real quick because <laughs> we've got it backwards for some reason. <laughs> that's fine. I, I was about to do it for you. Uh, actually, just go ahead then. Um, there was a problem. Oh. Ah, That's there we go. No, there was a problem. I can't do it. It's ah, because <laughs> there's a... Ah, uh, I know why. No, I can't even drag it across. No, I know, I know why. I just have to do that. What did you do? Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. It's because of the merge cell, but there's another one somewhere, too. Just a moment. There we go. So you know no, what we're gonna do. do so we're why do don't it. you go ahead and uh, and I sort of. I found the merge cell actually. The hmm? Did you find it? Yep, it's right there. Okay. Do we have more? That's it. Oh. Oh. I say we take off and demerge the cell from orbit. Exciting yeah. spreadsheet action. <laughs> okay, it's fixed now. <laughs> uh, okay, so the next one up. Steel flask with milky lavender liquid inside. Okay, necromancy and healing. Hey, you know, if, that's, if that's a healing potion, it's a lot less gross than some of the other healing potions we've had. I, I glass I... vi... Do you have a thing about uh, um, giving you guys uh, ones that just imagining drinking them would be like, do I have to? <laughs> Sorry, next. Hey, a thin glass vial with a bright mustard yellow liquid inside. All right. Uh, necromancy and necromantic and protection. Um, well, this isn't a potion. No, it goes, goes together with the next one. Oh, okay, I see. It, it's those uh, paint jars. Ah, okay. All right, all of those are alteration and creation. And it's the, the contents of the jars themselves, not the uh, box. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so I'll just copy that there for now. Okay, so the next one is a large... This is from the Wizard Helmsman. Large glass flask with pale blue liquid that is constantly swirling even when it's at rest. All right, hold on a second. Uh, alteration in elemental air. Hey, Hrall Gang had a glass flask with a thick black liquid. Necromancy and healing. Hey, Red Nord had a glass flask with cork stopper filled with an oily black fluid. Uh, alteration and combat. Okay. And he had a small ceramic jar filled with thick, sweet-smelling brown liquid. Necromancy and healing. Okay. Sard had a brown effervescent liquid in his steel flask. Uh, alteration and time. And a clay jar filled with a silver gray oil. Alteration and combat. Okay, Vringer had clear liquid in a purple glass flask. Uh, illusion, Phantasm, and Charm. Okay, and a bright blue floral smelling liquid in a ceramic jar. Necromancy and Healing. Wilther had a steel flask with golden honey-scented liquid inside. Uh, right, that I meant to mention, uh, that had been destroyed by the lightning. Um, the uh, flask melted. Okay. Sorry. I, I, I noted it on one place, and then when I was reading off the stuff that you got, I was reading from a different place. Okay, Czar had a glass vial with magenta liquid that glows as brightly as fairy fire. Uh, necromancy and healing and necromantic. Okay, a bright red liquid in a glass vial. Enchantment charm and charm. And finally, a small ceramic jar filled with a cherry red liquid. Necromancy and healing. Everyone's favorite combo. I'm sure there'll be some dodgy necromancy and healing potions at some point. <laughs> I mean, it could be cursed. Cause wound spells are part of the healing sphere. Mm. Or maybe we get a, a potion that heals up our ear holes or something. And don't cursed potions uh, appear like the legit ones. It depends on the uh, nature of the curse. Are there any potions where they found out more than just what we wrote down at the moment? Uh, no, you'll need to uh, either identify them or test them. Okay. I mean, you can make some guesses. Like, I mean, you can guess that those are healing potions. Whether you're right or not is, uh, <laughs> you know, up to you. We'll have Rex and try them out. 
Okay, so unless we've moved something else to another tab, that's it for that. Uh, let's see. I have a glass vial filled with a bubbling yellow liquid that, even when sealed, smells of tobacco smoke. Uh, one more time. A no, glass vial filled with a bubbling yellow liquid that, even when sealed, smells of tobacco smoke. Sit in the black hole. Uh, Where's that from? Let me check. And I missed. Oh, he has it. Well, you just got to put in, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, right, I me... just typed it in. All right, let me see where that was. Uh, that was. I think it was in the uh, uh, sorceress's quarters. Mm -hmm. Give me a second to double check. Then we never wrote it down because. Yeah, I don't think we, we did. double check. I double checked what uh, what was copied across, and it was correct. Yeah. All right. Um, that's fine. Um, you're still here. You haven't lost it. That is alteration and time. What what room did we find that in? Out of interest, the sorceress's quarters. Oh right, right. Yeah, so yeah, okay. We did get the rest of stuff. All right. Uh, also. Uh, you had 12 blocks of incense from the Six Jewels quarters. Yes. Those are magical. Oh. Let me see. Where are they? Rectangular block of golden brown incense. Hmm, I remember that. I just can't find it. <laughs> I wonder if they were actually accidentally marked as just spell components. Can you control F or option F no, or no, whatever no. it is? It, it's in. Did you just write that down? I just wrote that in there on the potions tab. Yeah, okay. All right. Yeah, I mean, you can, you can always move it later. Uh, that has invocation, evocation, and all. I will say this about items that uh, the those of you who can cast pre-spells, when something detects as all, that basically means it's a priestly item. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because there's no reason for anything to for a wizard item to be all. There's no reason for a warrior or thief item to be all. And it's specifically an item that would be usable by all priests. So. Was there something else for the six chill that we're missing out on? Because there are two empty lines that should actually be filled with text. Uh, I don't have anything listed. Something might have gotten moved. Okay. I mean, you got the scrolls, you got the uh, potions, you got uh, the uh, those little paint things. Ah, yes, 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 yes. I, I, I put those in for the scrolls, the, the empty lines before. Okay. Let me see if there was anything okay. else. I, w I was recording the scrolls elsewhere, that's why. Uh, yeah, it's not even that. It's uh, I, I just wonder where the, uh, where the 12 incense went to, because we had it, and it was there. I mean, you just but do okay. you can just do a, a control F or whatever later. Yeah. It didn't find it. 
but that's okay as long as we are not losing it yeah you're still here uh i'm going through right now um the only things else that i am missing is uh, that that haven't been noted down i believe are things that you need to go double check personally mm -hmm. like spell books okay and things that were destroyed all right do you want to talk about distribution of items or do you want to do some quick investigation uh uh, Laftal, you're back. Are you back back? Uh, yeah, I've done what I can in IRL. There's nothing okay. else I can do. So. Are you comfortable yeah. in game? Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, so, yeah, some of the stuff uh, I was kind of planning to wait until uh, next session, but uh, uh, we can do that now. There was a coffer that you wanted to get. Um, this is the next day. Um, so you guys would have had uh, two hours to memorize spells. Um, okay. I was going Change. through stuff that uh, your com your allies did some detect magic on, and, and Alia uh, used her bardic skill on. Did you make me memorize a detect magic? I did I... not do anything of that nature. I was going to let you decide on your own. All right. Yeah, I was sure because you said it was the next day. Sorry, I was all yeah. I'm catching up. We just uh, basically all said now that we can memorize up to two, two hours of spells. Yeah, I mean, you said I'm, you... I'm willing to forego my detect magic because I think it's better served elsewhere. There's enough spellcasters, I believe. Uh, to I, I can easily take enough detect magic spells, so yeah, I, think, I, I think... wanted to get all my thought captures in my first yeah. one, which is an hour. Maybe a couple of interrogation spells at third level, not spell it. We could maybe interrogate them in orbit. Did someone take a detect good or detect evil? Because some items register as evil or good. It might narrow, narrow down the item. Uh, and just put out there some more steel. What level of spell that was? First. First. Yeah, I can take the detect evil. I can detect evil. Uh, it's just a suggestion. Obviously, I'm not implying it, but to tech poison might be useful for the potions in case one of them falsely identifies and actually has magical poison. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I was planning. I can, I can take that one. Just obviously, just put out there. Obviously, I don't want to tell you how to. Yeah, there was also a little I... bit of stuff. Go, go I've, I've only taken up to hour now, so I still have the another hour's worth of spells to take. Uh, I could take detect traps. Could be good for the spell books. And there's still that one room that we haven't gone into. Yeah, I will. Uh, I will take find traps. I will take a mind read and a memory read. Can I get Tara's ten minutes? Is that pushing it? Uh, I'll let you, but it is going to be pushing it. Uh, it's because I had like ten minutes spell. I thought I could get another second level spell as well. But if you say I want them, no, can, can we not? Can we not get him to go to bed ten minutes earlier? It, it, it's it's <laughs> more like I mean again the, like the flexibility, but part of it is that like if you're spending six hours and everyone else is loading up cargo and stuff like that, they're definitely going to be looking at you and, and being like you know hey hey you want to pull your weight a little bit, kind of thing. So that's fine. That's essentially Bra what it is. Bra Braxton would be quite happy to cover for the spellcasters doing stuff. Well, that's so, why so I'm. They were... Yeah, it's not just you though, and you can't pull two people's weight as one person. 
We've got a giant with us. They, they connect like right. a great. I will make sure to take the most important spell idea, just in case we forget something completely. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've not been here. I might have not heard something that was mentioned. I would have thought of but that's what the idea of spell is for. So. I mean, you're going to have some more time to uh, uh, do stuff in orbit you were talking about, so. We resting here, then flying up, obviously, or resting here, finishing up loading, and then going up into orbit. Yeah, and dropping yeah. off the oh. uh, giants first. So I can cast the idea here just before we leave. Yep. Oh, um, one one thing uh, that Lefter would know. Um, <sighs> Uh, when, when yet to go, we discovered that that map of it, it could. I'm only telling you, it might influence your spells. That map of gray space was a map that shows the location of elf and navy bases. And the elf we rescued wanted us to destroy the map immediately. And Braxton was holding off in case there's any possibility that any sort of spell, maybe thought capture, could, or maybe something else could get information about that map and who knows uh, who made it, who knows about it. Uh, why did you tell them about the map? Because... Uh, uh, Alright, well, it's done. Um, why did you tell him about the map? Because <laughs> he comes from Grey Space. Oh. And he's from the Elven Navy. Basically, uh, he was captured one of those bases. Yeah, those yeah. Bases. Yeah. So uh, maybe, maybe if he, if that can be identified, we can persuade him that we should identify it a couple of days down the line. Here's a question, Ald. Uh -huh. Um, would it adversely affect my morality if I were to act against the interests of my own culture or people, as in if I were to scribe the map to copy it? It might. But I I'm mean, also it, chaotic neutral, so it's kind of like yes, you're chaotic neutral, but like the interests of the elven people is uh, still... something I should hold. Dear. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, keep in mind again. Uh, like, I got a comment about uh, uh, someone taking a little bit of an issue with the way that Ocker described Loki as the evil god of the Norse pantheon. Um, pointing out that uh, uh, Loki is dependable on existential threats to the Norse pantheon. Um, I, I, like, I don't have an issue with the way that Ocker described it. I think that's a perfectly fine way for a follower of Tyr <laughs> to describe Loki. Maybe not a follower yeah. of Odin. Um, but in certain ways you are like Loki, but not as bad. You are even more dependable on defending the elven people's uh, than Loki is. Uh, you do not act against the Elven peoples uh, the way that o Loki has against Norse peoples and the Norse pantheon. I'm just wondering if I would have any compulsion to obviously follow through or would I act to my own interests? I think I probably would I mean, act with Elven interests. It's up to you so. on how to play it, but uh, yeah. Here you have a member of the Elven Imperial Navy saying that it is, uh, in his view, imperative that this be destroyed to protect uh, Elven Navy secrets. Yeah, fair enough. Um, you, so, you was, uh, uh, so you know, was sorry. Go. Cool. We we did bring up the point that this uh, map might have been copied already, but he uh, he still wanted it to be destroyed. Right. His his view is that like. If there's, you know, if there's another copy out there, or if there's two other copies out there, uh, you're destroying one. That's like, you know, if there's one other copy besides the one that you have, destroying this one means that there is a 50% less chance that it falls into a bad, you know, uh, e evil hands, that kind of thing, you know. Um, if you have two of these things you are twice as likely for them to fall into um, evil hands than if you only have one. So, you know, and he has no idea if it has been copied. This may be the only copy. 
also it's important for Shakhar to think uh, what would be the point of him keeping the copy. Well, it's, 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 it's to investigate the orc, basically. That would be my it's, interest. Nothing nefarious. It's up to it's up yeah, to Leftel. it's up to left Um but, just to uh, just one other piece of information. Lefter was in the room and Braxton would have asked him if there was any way he could identify stuff. So if Lefter wanted to make a copy, he would and I'm not telling you how to roleplay Lefter, but he would have the opportunity that's been presented from the situation to say, I need to study the map in my room for two hours and I do what use... everyone wants. I could memorize an arise and that allows me to memorize I think it's word so I don't know if I could if it could be used in the context of remembering places. What I'm saying is you don't have to tell us what you want to do. <laughs> you have Yeah, I, I you realize have... what you're going at, but yes. I don't think I have any adverse motives that I would do in secret as opposed to doing within the company interest, because I don't think Yeah. Well, They're one of too the things, disaligned. One of the things Braxton was talking about uh, was the idea of identifying who this orc is and tracking them down. And he mentioned the tracking device and said, maybe we can fold the map up and stick it in that tracking machine. So uh, Braxton's not on completely dissimilar oh. thought pattern to you. Yeah. And the, the elf was basically like, please, please destroy it. Please, please destroy it. And Braxton was trying to get him to hesitate. Well, he did say that if uh, if we have a way to track that orc with the map, he would be okay with uh, us delaying the destruction as long as we keep the map uh, really, really safe. Yeah. What well, if we offer to take uh, an urban representative to keep, maintain their interests on board our ship while we track this down, so we're not doing anything nefarious with it? We, yeah, we can deal, deal with that later. Right, but like I mean, I mean you, you've got you've got the time before you get back to the elves to think about that. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. But what he is going to want is that he's going to want you to test out. Like, if you think that that device is going to work, he's going to want you to test it with it. Yeah. Yeah. We Seems to be so that he can see. And then if yeah. if you can't think of any other way, then again he's going to say, "Please destroy it." Mm -hmm. You just have a reason to keep it, basically. If you have yeah, if you have a reason to keep it and you can uh, to his satisfaction protect it, then we've got a black box that keeps out magical influence, scrying everything basically. Yeah. A, a dark dead magic box. What do you call it? Uh, yeah, dead box. Is that what they yeah, call it? Dead box. Dead box. Yeah. Okay. For, well, the... for now, for now, this is the um uh, Braxton put the chart in your uh, uh in your strong room in the safe. So yeah. that's where it is right now. So uh, the only reason I told you this, in case it gave you a reason to change what spells you were taking, yeah. we we could deal with the implications of it once we're in off in space, because we're going to have the elf with us, and we'll have the map with us. So you'll have as much time as you want. I want a curiosity on if I cast mistake missive on it. Obviously, it would no longer have relevant information, but it could technically be used for its intended purpose of tracking yet still covering up the elven secrets because obviously them they would be changed obviously you would need very specialized magic in order to divine that it's been changed i mean a detect magic would indicate that it's magical and a dispel magic would re eliminate mistake and missive would it? i believe so unless it says something specifically that it doesn't do that i don't remember offhand but I don't remember anything specifically saying uh, that it doesn't do that. I could be mistaken. Oh, no, yeah. No, it is right. You yeah. are right. Um, it stores the message to his original form, so yeah, yeah. it's not really no, safe. I mean, I mean he's, not going, there, he's not going to tell you exactly what, like, he's not going to go into great details about what's on that chart. Obviously, it's on a need-to-know basis. But, I mean, if you have some specific questions, like, um... I think that this can help us do this. Can it do that? He may answer yes or no, if you have some specific questions along that line. Oh. Are we keeping various body parts so can use uh, speak with dead? That is up to you. Yes. None of the authors are harvesting those body parts. I mean, unless <laughs> unless someone else is doing that to, to keep... Uh, um, to cast that spell, that 
Yes, I am going out of my way to do that. Then that's something that you're doing. Let's there cut the hands any, off. There won't be any strength or dex today. No cat's oh, grace today. So it's it's not just Higamus that collects heads. No, I'm throwing them overboard after I've done with them. Yeah, I know. Lafdella <laughs> doesn't collect heads, he collects pinkies. No, I collect so, statues. So <laughs> does does Lafta put their heads in the the um no. catapult and then have a chat with them and then boom. <laughs> you know what? I probably would. <laughs> I mean, I probably need your permission to do that. I'm not sure. That is that is going to make the uh, rest of the crew extremely uncomfortable with Laptal. Yeah, like that's the oh, other I thing is that. is collecting the heads is going to make everyone extremely uncomfortable. Well, I'm stating why I'm doing. Uh, let's see if that. That's take the still body. super creepy. <laughs> I'm talking yeah. to the corpse. I need a part of the corpse. I, yeah. yeah. Hey, hey. Is. Is La is left on the same shift as Brexit? Yes. Uh, I'm on we'll the just... shift Arca. I think, I think, yeah. of it, I think of it is, uh, as this way. Solas uh, accepts that the, it is necessary evil to do that, but uh, he, he would uh, demand that the body parts to be treated with respect. <laughs> I mean, if you can think of another way, like uh, another reason to collect them as well, um... <laughs> Remember, you don't need the head. The head doesn't talk. It summons the spirit yeah, of the fair. creature. Slayer editions where you need the head. Uh, I just so thought if you want to do it, if, if, you, if you want to do it uh, as discreetly as possible, you take either pinky or one uh, toe or something. Uh, I'm just seeing where it says. One I mean, one it, one. it. If you were also gonna take the heads to. Um, prove that you killed someone, you know, dead or yeah. alive kind of thing. Uh, that would be a little bit less creepy. Yeah, uh, I need... It's still pretty creepy, but people will be like, okay, I get it. It's still, I'm I'm glad I'm not in your line of work kind of thing. Body remains or portion thereof. So at your discretion, I will gather the equivalent of that. I mean, you can they... also just take the bodies themselves. The, the... Would that be oh. less creepy? It would be a heck of a lot less creepy, yeah. yeah especially yeah, if, yeah, especially if the uh, the secondary goal is to show you, you know, show uh, authorities that you've captured. Uh, yeah, them. yeah. We we need to take the officers' bodies for the bounties. Yeah. I was going to say if if Laftal took a, a finger from everyone, then what would happen is he'd be on his way to his room, he'd trip over and like scatter the fingers all over the floor and then he wouldn't know which <laughs> which finger belonged to oh, well. which person well i know well, no, if you had a, a summoner's spirit yeah i mean if you've got 40 fingers and <laughs> you think you'd i'm be... asking 40 people three Why questions not? each um, you're mad laughter might be considered creepy but he's not actually trying to be creepy i thought i thought uh I thought Ord's fan base deserved uh, an entire episode of Talking Fingers. <laughs> yeah. I'm not. So it's, it's up to you anyway. how, like, it's up to you what you guys want to do. Uh, again, like, uh, if you bring in some of the, like, especially if you bring in uh, Njord, it may be that authorities will be like, uh, "Oh, you've you've got their other officers." Okay, I mean, uh, that's that's going to be. Obvious, uh, you wouldn't have gotten Njord if uh, you hadn't gone through his yeah. other officers. Maybe they won't need proof. Maybe they will still want proof. Who knows? It's up to you guys to decide uh, how you want to handle that. Yeah, it's up to you. Maybe uh, we couldn't get information on the Orc and other people, but maybe the dead people will be more uh, honest. I mean, if they make their, if they fail their saving throw, they have to answer. So, yeah. Or if they're the same alignment as me, which is more likely than not. I know, I know, some of them answer, but they're they're rude. I mean, most of them are evil. So, <laughs> well, they've memorized some ESP spells, so we could go and ask and talk to them again. Yeah, I only memorized one memory read, one mind read, and one memory read. Three ESP. She got up to two hours exactly. All right. Do you want to do any of that before you take off, or do you want to? Um... 
wait until you're in orbit for that. She doesn't really care. All right. Um, I mean, they're still loading up uh, stuff, and there's still uh, a, some last-minute searching that you might want to do on the, uh, the ship before any of that. So. Is this mm -hmm. the oh, next day? Think. This is the next she day. Turn, yeah. uh, she turns around to Laftal and says, Hey, can we go into the Orcs room now? Because uh, uh, Yeah, I can I go over there and cast my thought captures. You can obviously be around, but obviously let me try and get what I can. Once uh, you've just... done that, Liver would like to cast uh, tracking to see whether we can do anything with, with that. Do you want to come just, too, Finn? Just, sure. just to be just to Finn. be on the safe uh, safe side before anyone enters the room, uh, Solas will uh, cast find traps and check stuff. Ah, uh, Lever was in there. Finn was in there. It's uh, it doesn't need it anymore. We've we've right. trampled all over the place. Well, uh, I can still ca cast it and check uh, all the containers and such if they are trapped. Right. Right. said specifically he didn't want anyone in there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You can observe. You can cast it and they just point it in the room. Yeah, well, Rex was in there as well. He ran through. Hey, old. Yes. Uh, since we rested, is my strength back to normal now? Yes. Uh, your strength would have returned to normal. Let me see. Oh, I was thinking I was keeping a note of those potions and effects. Uh, oh, you didn't move the other tab. No potion master list. What potion was this? Was this potion strength or bull's strength? Uh, bull's oil. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, so you gained 18 for one turn, and then you l lost two points from your original strength for six. one hour, six turns. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, I had a minus two from the strength. Yeah, minus two. Minus it's two from Fina... your original score. Yeah. Is Finn the only one who is uh, who can learn tracking? No, I can learn tracking. Potentially, Solus can learn tracking. We've all got access to divination uh, minor. Yeah, yeah oh, so... if it's uh, divination, then yeah. You should observe Lema then, because she uh, she will cast tracking. Everybody who wants to come. Yeah. All right, Do we well, all have to roll spellcraft on this? Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Well, if one of us learns it, then we can comp do it in a more comprehensible way of teaching something. I mean, it'll take more than just a roll a spellcraft check and boom, hey, I can get it now, kind of thing. So. Mm -hmm. It's it's basically, it gives you the idea of the spell and then you figure out how to ask, ask it from your deity. All right, so you're on the ship now. Back on the ship now. Uh, let me go ahead and move you guys over. All right, so uh, keep in mind that uh, if you cast fine traps, you might want to then start looking at other things afterwards. We'll have that while box they're looking at the, we... uh, the room. It's locked. They didn't uh, left all need to be there to alone to cast the uh, thought capture and uh, all that. The less, uh, the, the best people around, the less contaminated. The I, I can, I can basically go through the, uh, go through some things while you are doing that, and uh, I have another uh, find traps for later on. Hmm. Um, right. So we'll ask everyone to clear the floor. I mean, yeah. NPCs. I'll I remember seeing the orc just come out just side where Lever is. I would have cast a thought capture down, even though I'm probably getting Lever. So, oh, it's tracking spin. <laughs> Lovely, sad. Lever hasn't cast it yet. Yeah, I know, but obviously this is where I saw the orc last. So I, I, I mean, I, I want to know what order things are being cast in. I'm casting my thought capture here, because this is the next day. Yeah, it is. Yeah. This is the, the... Like, um... Uh, you've you've gotten the spells that you can get back, and uh, I'm fine with saying that you're waiting until to get the uh, um, information that I've already given you on the items until after this. If you wanted to do this essentially first thing, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. so that's fine. Um, all right, so you're casting thought capture right there in the hallway, in front of the door. 
close to where I saw the orc. It's trying to get as yeah. close to because it, it doesn't matter if I'm out a little bit, but as close to. Yeah. I'll see if I can get something. There's no guarantee. All right. Um, is it is that an instantaneous spell? You get one thought. Uh, one second. I will just double check. Uh, duration instantaneous. Cast time free. Uh, yep. Okay. Um, close proximity. Thoughts and emotion, and can sometimes even see momentary visions of a creature who died or suffered some powerful emotion in the immediate vicinity. Oh, so yeah, someone dying in the helm room. Vicinity, you're gonna get the stuff from the helm room. Yeah. Probably Dalaran's or Bloodleaf's last minute. So if I cast it here, yeah, in it there, in there. Do you want? Are you doing this instead? Yeah. Um... Okay. Uh, so yeah, you go in into the room, uh, cast thought capture, and um, you get some. You, you get a thought along the lines of uh... strongest to weakest thoughts. So anything that had the most significance. Yes, the process worked. I hope we can reverse engineer it. Well, I'll explain that. I assume he's referring to the machines or something. Uh, Ravaka. Well, if you say that, uh, based on what else we've heard, uh, Solas would uh, say that uh, I think the orc might be willing, wanting to reverse engineer those insect suits. Yes, he, it seems so. If he's the mastermind behind that. Yes, that's and that, I assume he'd be heading to Grey Space to pick up more of them if that's where he found them from. Well, uh, it's not necessarily that he's heading to Grey Space. He might be heading to uh, where his uh, people are, where other orcs from his group uh, that he is working for. This has only been the first on Human War, isn't it? Not the second. Correct. So when is the second one due? I mean, no, is it going to happen? It's not, it's not due. No, 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 no. Obviously, we're in <laughs> it a might not happen. line. It might not happen. All oh, right. Hang yeah, on. Because I might our change. actions might prevent it. <laughs> this, right, yeah, this... Our actions might start it. Wait a minute. This is this is, this is is like going to Pearl Harbor before World War Two. came to Sorry. Pearl Harbor Sorry. and going, uh, when are the Japanese arriving to blow the place up? It's hard for me to differentiate between what's canon and what we're making as canon, because obviously we're playing in the universe. Uh, basically, everything that happened before uh, our uh, game uh, is something that is uh, most likely canon, and what uh, is going to happen is something that we might uh, prevent or cause. Yeah, I'm going to so, cast multiple thought captures on your level. So, so basically, the war was the unhuman war. Not the first unhuman war. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There it, is just it, it the will, unhuman war. It, if if another one happens, yeah. <laughs> spoilers. <laughs> I'm just wondering if he's the cause of the unhuman war. He might be, yeah, but we don't know that yet. So this could be our next adventure, or it could be nothing. Uh, so, the priest might pick up images of that point of view of the warrior who died there. Yeah. So when you finish with. How many soul captures are you going to, to cast? Oh, I'm casting all of them in here. Yeah, I, yeah how many is all? Six. Oh my I god! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but I, that's why I, I wanted, wanted to get... <laughs> that's why I, I wanted to get as much information as I could about this one person who just flew off. Okay. Alright, so you're casting another one in there? Yeah, I'm going through all six in here. Do you, do you want Braxton to cut that room out so we can take it to the orphan <laughs> Navy? No. No, 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 no. Lemo wants to cast something in there too. <laughs> well, I'll shut up now. Um, do you I want to this cast this? this do you want to cast this uh, while he's doing his thought captures? Do you want to cast this after he's done? I would mention that my well, spell has... might be attracted to you. Yeah, Lafton's sort of made it clear that he wants to be if possible alone in there and not be distracted or not get more thoughts by more people 
stomping around in that room. The more so... impatient you get with laughter, the more thoughts I get of Lever being impatient with laughter, because I assume you're getting very irate about that, waiting for laughter. That's I a very strong emotion. Lever had a problem. She gained weight. She couldn't get that through the door. <laughs> <laughs> ah, there she is, gone. She's yeah, but you're just off. a... You're a wizard. You can just change your appearance. What's that got to do with being in the same room as you? <laughs> you said you can get in the room. All right, so your second one um, that you cast, uh, you get the uh, uh, the thought of um, uh, this Zixchil is quite capable. I hope she can adapt to this information that I have uncovered. It is of, I mentioned this, and obviously he might be looking to hire more Zixchils. So you cast in the third one? Yep. Going through all of them. I mean, on subsequent days or later down the line, if I'm given the opportunity, I may cast other thought captures elsewhere, but... So, uh, you, the uh, thought you get now is... Um... I've shared the information, and Njord seems inclined to follow this up. He has some good warriors with him, so it should be successful if we're fast enough. All right, I mentioned that, and I'll obviously keep a mental note of I need to use memory read to try and get that particular conversation. And ESP. Well, memory can read a memory. Mm -hmm. That's not a memory. Okay, so you cast the fourth one? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you pick up a thought from Leva from that fight. Yeah, I can tell you're really happy about your uh, your glassy spell. I cast another one. <laughs> cast why another I one? Like people. Yeah. You pick up a thought from Finn yeah. from that fight. Or right after. I would, I would was that five? <laughs> yep, that was five. Was right, last one. There. Last one. Do I get Braxton? Oh, good yep, Bra God, I am never eating this kender food ever again. Oh, Who's God. Who's that from? Uh, not from... It, it, it's from the person who had that first thought. Mm. Oh, so wait. Maybe? Mm. Someone didn't like Kenderfeed, apparently. All right, you're free to come in. I've got what I can out of this room, I suppose. Do you see what I mean by not contaminating the area? We've still got some information that's still useful. So can we please look at the room and see whether we might find stuff that belongs to the orc? Like, uh, let's say, a favorite article of clothing, a lock of hair, or a blood, a blood spool, or something like that? Uh, I think you're really quiet. Are you... Uh... Were you sitting away from your... No, I moved the microphone away. Better okay. this way? Yeah. All right. Uh, let me get to the... That room. Give me a second. All right. So this room has been... Uh, like... Uh, you, you noticed it when you came in. Um, the room was quickly, like, ransacked, searched, uh, things taken from it. Um, Laftel, he, he was carrying some things uh, when he disappeared. You didn't get a good look at it. Uh, I think I gave you a quick description uh, back then, so that's what you can rely on. Um, yeah. You don't really find nice. anything of significance around. Um... Uh, you know, like there's some, you know, utensils, uh, a plate, a cup, you know, some cups, uh, stuff like that. But it's, you know, your fairly standard fare, stuff that you've seen around the ship. So it doesn't look like it's personal items. It's stuff that, you know, he took from ship stores kind of thing. Uh, what, is there about, anything... what about in the bed? I mean, he must have slept somewhere. That's yeah, slept on the bed. The bed. Yeah. 
Uh, you don't find like, I mean, like it's, it's got sheets. There's, I mean, yeah, you could probably find some stray hairs. Is there anything like um, uh, a chest under the bed? Um, there is a strong box uh, in a cabinet, um, but it's been opened. It's right. left open, like like the lid is up and everything like that. the The cabinet is open, and it's oh. it's been emptied out. There's nothing in there. Nope. So he's basically grabbed all his possessions, ran out. You the could door. probably identify that. I identify. <laughs> yeah, to figure out what was contained within it. Right. Bra identify is not going to give you that kind of information. No. No. Break some points. Oh, uh, it... Sorry, go. On. No, go. Go ahead. Bra Braxton points at the strong box and says, you know, everyone else we met had keys for the lockbox in their room. Uh, were the lockboxes all identical or were they different? Yeah, they were generally different. So Braxton says, this lockbox might belong to that orc. Mm -hmm. Are there keys in the lock? No. It won't fit in our uh, machine, though, will it? But spell. perhaps, sorry, Let perhaps me... divination spell could be cast on it. We Maybe might as well take... go on. Sorry. Maybe Leva could cast the tracking on it. Now, how old is... do you have the spell description up? Yes, it Would detects you... the psychic impressions left by the creatures moving through the area. The druid first takes an object closely related to the creature being tracked, such as a favorite article of clothing, a lock of hair, or a, bl a blood spore, and attunes to the quarry's psychic pattern by casting the spell on the object. What's the range on it? Zero. Range zero. It's, yeah, you just see impressions uh, nearby. It's when when I cast after this any psychic trace of the same pattern glows in the vision of the of the caster. How long does so, it last? Uh, one turn plus one turn a level. Because it's just going to go out the room and it's going to disappear. Because he disappeared effectively. Yes, but you see, maybe uh, Leva can think. Maybe she sees more. I mean. Mm -hmm. I'm not you, no, I'm just you, saying. It may not just be the disappearance. It may be something more than that. Maybe he moved around and then she can see where he was. If can he ask... casts detect magic at the same time, then can yeah, I assume we... that? Can I assume your character is having this conversation? Yeah, we're having an open conversation. Bra mm -hmm. Braxton says, if there's a possibility that he became invisible instead of teleporting, he isn't invisible. I'm. Oh. Me... I'm well, very it, it, familiar with that magic. Okay, okay. But if there's a possibility that he didn't jump an infinite distance, if her spell could perhaps reveal him if he was still in the cave, mm -hmm. then well, it's maybe. her spell to waste. Maybe. Yeah. But we have, to find, we have to find something that is uh, closely related to the creature being being tracked, like something closely related to the to the orc. Yeah, I mean, this was his room. There should be plenty of stuff. Well, he... it looks like... It, it, is, the lock box, is the lockbox... Does the lockbox look like it is a, a, a general lockbox? Or like it is? it might be one that he, he liked and had to leave behind because it was too big or something? Uh, that's impossible to tell. Um... Unless you can think of something else in the room, like you find some some hairs, not like a lock of hair. You know, he he obviously did not like cut his hair and leave that laying around in this room. Um, mm -hmm. The the hairs that you find Kitch. are just the normal ones that that come off in everyday life. Um, unless you can think of something else, that lockbox might be the, your best bet. Because you're not royal spellcraft. To figure out what would seem no, like the most no, because no. that's like you know, you're you're making a judgment it's... about you're making no, you're not making a, a spell judgment. You're making a personal judgment based on on someone that you don't know. 
Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> so, but, but I, I see two possibilities. One of them is the actual bed, the blankets and etc. because yeah. that was very close to him. And the other one is uh, is the storm box. Does anyone see more than that? Braxton's looking mm, If there is no no items in there, then it's the strong box most likely. There's no article of clothing. Braxton? Braxton's looking around the room and he says, I think we've got two possibilities. Either this orc was working for Red Njord, or this orc came to use Red Njord. But, but wait a moment, that's not the question we are answering, uh, we are trying to answer no, at the moment. I'm just trying to figure out the psychology of this guy, whether he's a spy spying on the elves. If he's a spy, he may have deliberately kept a small number of items. What, what do you think looking around the room? Does it look like he's deliberately not brought much possessions with him? I don't know. It's he, hard he, to he say considering... Yeah, it, it's hard to say considering that he took whatever... It, it, he took most of what was here, uh, most of the stuff that you would consider personal items, and left and, and went away. Braxton's going to look around for anything like things you sharpen weapons with, um, anything like that that you might not want to take with you. Didn't he have a mace? He had a mace, yes. Yeah, I would indicate that he had no way of sharpening weapons, being a general Right. Boost. Okay. Claire. All right. Lero is using the storm box. Okay. She casts tracking on it. All right. Yeah. Uh, so this is cast at third level, so that's going to be 40 minutes duration. Okay. Keep that in mind. I'll try to observe for that. Oh, well, fair. Yeah, same. Okay. When she starts hallucinating, you stop. <laughs> um, do you both have uh, spellcraft? Uh, Finn wants to come and look too. I do. Finn does not. Finn, yeah, Finn doesn't. Okay. Um, Laptal, you can make a spellcraft check. Oh, I can make a spellcraft check. Can I make a spellcraft check? Uh, no, because you didn't say that you were observing it. What? Nice. what? Did. He so. did. He did so. All Can... three of us said we were. Uh, I don't think this mm. is a spell that you would have. A You're not going to have access to this spell. Uh, anyway, um, Solus. I didn't succeed. Nah. I failed yeah. by 14. Uh, I need 11, so. Okay, what? and give me an intelligence check, Finn, at half your intelligence, please. Okay. While, while they're doing that, can Braxton start looking around the furniture? He wants to find nope. if there is hidden compartment. All right. Um, you're going to definitely need to observe the spell uh, more often. Mm -hmm. Like looking at this, looking at the spell, I, th I actually think that it should be moved out of the, the divination sphere because uh, I think. Um, An animal sphere. Yeah, animal or yeah, probably animal. Um, I think that's what I would say. Uh, it doesn't make sense to me as being a divination spell, especially considering it's supposed to be a druid spell. So that is going to be a house rule that I'm I'm making. So I wouldn't get access. To them. Oh, you don't have animal. No, not even minor. Okay. Nope. Yeah. Entirely. Yeah. So. Um, Basically, it's going to be Finn is the only one who who can learn it. Yeah. Pity. Um, but yeah, Finn, uh, you're definitely going to need to observe this more often uh, to get a better inkling of of what it can do. Silly I think question. Lava might have to go hunting with me one day. Yeah, mm. that might help. That's a good point. No problem. Uh, what were you about to say, Laftal? I'm just wondering if memory read would allow me to see her point of view of casting the spell would allow me a... I'm just wondering in the hypothetical. Maybe I'm... I would need to think about it some more. Like, I'd have to go look to see what memory read actually... Because I could look for a specific thing. memory. Um, so, yeah. Leva... Uh, you cast the spell successfully. Um, you do not have a chance of failure with these because uh, mm -hmm. it's cast at third level. Mm -hmm. um, 
and you pick up the uh, 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 the the chest, the uh, the copper thing, strong box. Uh, cast a spell, and suddenly you see uh, it kind of fades into being uh, a bright streak, and you can see it like. As you're watching, uh, the streak gets brighter, and you can see more and more of the streak. So it's kind of like, you know, you see the most recent part first. Wow. And uh, so the spell is definitely working. Um, mm -hmm. What you see is the it it ends brightly right out there in the hall. Mm -hmm. And it does not go anywhere. It just stops right there. Uh, you see it fading very slightly coming back in here and going all about the room like uh, over uh, just a couple minutes this room is basically uh, you can't make anything out in this room uh, specifically because he's just been everywhere in this room all right could but level... hold, hold on hold on mm -hmm. you do see a a slightly less bright line coming out of the room and going out onto deck uh, and and that you would kind of realize um, that is where he was. You know, you saw you you had seen him out on deck fighting you guys. Mm -hmm. um, and then from there it comes back in, and then it's just like all over the ship. Like he's he's been everywhere in the uh, the last two days. You know, in the the two days prior kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Can can but the way you describe it, Lever can differentiate between newer and older tracks. Uh, at least in this case, just because it's it works for what you're you're working on. I mean, definitely, definitely the way that I'm looking at this spell, I I do think that you could see, like, um, if if a specific animal crossed its path a day afterwards, kind of thing. I think you could tell. Okay. With my interpretation of the spell. Um, I, I, in reality, I don't think you'd be able to tell if a creature crossed its path a moment later. <laughs> but mm -hmm. for what this is, for the situation involved, I'm fine with uh, letting you differentiate that right now. Uh, you may regret that. Yeah. Could Leva, uh, the, f the 40 minutes that she has, mm -hmm. could she run around the ship and run around the cave, uh, sort of... Uh, running around in a way, just looking into a room and then running to the next one, to the next one, to the next one, the same in the cave, and figure out whether there is a, uh, uh, one track that's newer than the others. Well, the problem like is, is that... Out it, so it land somewhere. The problem is that... Um, all right, well, first, the ship. Uh, he's been on the ship, I mean, up until that disappearing point, he's only been on the ship. Mm -hmm. um, because uh, since this is cast at third level, you only have uh, six days age. Mm -hmm. Up until the point that he disappeared, he was only on the ship for the last six days. Um, so you want to look around to see if he teleported out of here to somewhere else in the cave, correct? Yes. All right. Uh, or in the other ship. Or to the other ship. Okay. You cannot find any location like that. But she does have the time to really go, uh, well, go, run from place to place and check. Yeah. Okay. So she can definitively say, tell the others, he did not land anywhere in this cave. Or Thank in the you. other ship. Braxton's still checking the furniture. Yeah. I still has left all his search secrets. In Actually, there. she'll come back and she'll go, <laughs> I couldn't see him any. I, I, no tracks anywhere. I need to sit down somewhere. <laughs> You've got him failing endurance. You can run for a while. <laughs> I, and and also, um, uh, 40 minutes, uh, I, you, you could at least, like, again, like you, you can see reasonably well uh, and stuff like that. So, no, you, you did, I don't think you'd be like, Super okay. tired after that. Is, <laughs> it, so, th is there any desks in this room? Uh, there is a table, not really a desk, I don't think. Let me double check. Um... 
it's a desk magical or is it a desk of holding? Because <laughs> you never know. I don't think it has to be restricted Pardon, to bags. No. Uh, there's, a, there's a small table um, and there's a plate on, on the table. The kind of thing that you might, uh, you know, sit down and eat a meal on. Um, okay. Um, does it look like candy food? Bra Braxton, Braxton. That felt like an old uh, thing. Braxton turns around and, and holds a finger up to Solace and says, y your deity is into writing. Mm -hmm. Would you be able to look at this table and see things that have been written on it? Maybe if he wrote on this table and pressed hard, maybe there are indentations in the wood or something. I don't think so. That that kind of thing is possible. Maybe oh, he's hidden something in this room. That's like psychic impressions that's similar to the spell that level just cast. That kind of magic. I'm just thinking if if this orc is a spy who's come to work with Red Njord against the elves, mm. he may have had something on him. He probably takes that with him. Be, based on uh, the evidence, I would say that he most likely just used the red in your. Maybe, maybe. It might be worth us taking the the furniture out of this room just in case. Be, be, basically, basically used red in your as a, a tool to capture yes. those insect suits and then test test out if the non elves can use them. Definitely. Definitely. And in the meantime, it's caused a lot of problems to the Elven Navy in this sphere. What I'm, I'm thinking to... is, is could there be a hidden compartment somewhere? Um, yeah. Brax, was... Brax is going to start... Uh, he's not going to go crazy, but he's going to start moving the bedding about just to see if... Check under the looks... bedding. Yeah, check under the bedding. Laughter will the definitely uh, be interested in this. All right. I can see something else. Question old? Uh, just a second. Laftel and Braxen, you do not find any uh, secret compartments in the room. Uh, is there anything like bedposts that are screwed on? Uh, you do not find any secret compartments in the room, which includes the Okay. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> there there might be secret compartments, you, but you didn't find them. Yeah. Uh, Leva, you had a question? Yes, I'm just reading the rest of the spell, and it says that uh, this spell can also detect the passage of creature under the influence of a path without trace spell. It can also detect the passage of another druid. Uh, yeah, what that anything like that? Well, no. So what that what that means is that neither of those because druids have a natural pass without trace type ability. Oh, okay. Uh, what it means is that if you're tracking one of those, neither of those abilities, those spells or abilities, and thus probably similar things, are going to prevent. Um, the usage of the spell. It doesn't mean that in addition to the creature that you're trying to track. Oh, okay. Okay, thank you. No problem. Braxton points at the, the plate with a few crumbs on it says, can we track him from his food? You can track him with any personal facts in this room. Yeah, well, like uneaten food is probably not a personal um, effect. Color would be. Take the storm box. Any empty quill thing for writing would still be, not quill, you know, the ink well. Yeah, is there anything like that in here? Uh, there is a um, an empty ink well on the floor. Um, the ink spilled out. Interesting. The container, yeah, well, he is scrambling to gather stuff, so probably on Yeah, there. that might be our only hope of tra tracing him, because I don't think that strong box is going to fit in our... It is definitely I think, too big, yes. Could you break... Is it possible to break something down and You'd have to try part it. of it? You'd have to try it. Yeah, just so, like we'd have to... Just like we'd have to fold up the... <laughs> the the great space map to try it. Okay, I say we take the map. Uh, let's just take everything from this room. Well, we just leave it. We're taking the ship, so... I mean, most yeah, of it but... is just furniture. Like, most of it's pretty standard furniture. So, I mean, if you want to take... Like... I... 
if you take like if it doesn't work with uh, um, like if you break up the strong box and it doesn't work, it's not going to work if you break up the bed. Yeah. No. <laughs> uh, if you know you take a, a cup and it doesn't work, it's not going to work no, with no. you know if it doesn't. So you can take some things that seem more likely and then leave the stuff yeah. that's less likely. Like I, I'm. You're I'm just, just gonna be, this. you're just gonna be going through gems uh, in that device uh, if you're trying like literally everything in this room. So yeah, yeah. I, I'm just playing this as Brax is not a spellcaster. He's like, well, why don't we just take the whole room? <laughs> we can throw it away. If it doesn't work. Can't really do that. <laughs> um, all right. So if you want to um, take some specific things, go ahead and make make a note um, for next week. Uh, do you want to do a quick check uh, with detect magic and detect traps in the other rooms before yeah, we end it? I think I will do. Yes. Uh, find the traps has the duration of three turns. Okay. Should yeah, so you can sure. you can get the basically the whole ship and anything, uh, any other like items. What do you want to yeah. What do you want to check sp specifically? Uh, I will check. Box. Yeah, any any locked boxes and uh, locked uh, basically anything that is locked and uh, spell books because spell books and the, the shells of the spell books. Okay, so that that lock box that was uh, um, from the plasmoids. Orac. Oh, was it? Was it? I thought it's from the Orac. Oh, this is in the upstairs room. I'm I'm the one that was forgetting. hidden. That's in why the I was bed. asking. Okay. Uh, let's see. And it was wizard locked because I could not open it. Correct. Okay. Um. But was that the only thing left on it? Was there anything else? Uh, to do with I that box? didn't find. I didn't find any traps on it when I rolled my thing, but I don't know if I failed. Okay. As then, obviously, only you know. Uh, find else. traps does reveal that there is a mechanical trap on that. Oh. Well, a good thing I cast it, cast it before you started opening it. I that's... swear I looked this trap over. Laughed or looked that... at it again. Where is this trap? That's the small strong box, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. The okay. one that Auric had. Mm -hmm. Is it. Someone got to take poison. Yeah, Finn said that he took Yeah, I have it. Because you can detect poison on the object to see if it's poison, like a poison needle or something, and you can also check over the potions. And they are poisonous. How long does detect uh, poison last? Uh, it's last one turn plus round level. Cast time four. Okay. Uh, the priest has a 5% chance per level to detect the exact type of poison, not. Yeah. But obviously, it can detect it. Yeah, there's a poison, poison in that trap. Uh, that is type E, immediate death or 20 damage. Huh. Oh, that's the type of poison that I wanted. To... <laughs> I still want this poison. Yeah, that's yeah you the can't really recover poison. poison from these sorts of traps. Ah, oh, can I study it, though, if I can't recover it? It's a pretty standard, like, I mean, they're all um, slightly different, but once you realize that there's a, a trap there and you, you, you locate it, uh, you're like, okay, yeah, I see how this works. It's pretty standard stuff. I could neutralize poison on the chest, and it would just outright disable that poison. Because I can cast it on an object, yeah. or in an area. You could also so just I could knock it open. Yeah, I could knock it open. Yeah, I will do so. I'll stand away from the spring trap. I mean, because these types of uh, uh, traps are specifically designed to um, poke someone who is trying to open it either with a key or with lockpicks. So if you open it, you know... Magic. Yeah. Um, you should be safe. All right, so inside there uh, is coinage, 110 bronze pieces. Uh, okay. Who's writing this down? One second. I am writing. Uh, okay. Uh, did you get the bronze pieces? Yes. All right. Seventy-four iron pieces. Mm-hmm. Sixty-two steel. 
Mm -hmm. And six platinum. Hmm. Okay. Pretty decent. So let's see, 110 bronze, 74 iron, 62 steel, and six platinum. Yep. Okay. And there's nothing else. I mean, there. can if we keep this, uh, it's worth keeping this because it's still a trapped chest. We just gotta get a key made for it. There's someone on Brawl, we can just get a key uh, made for I it. I mean, we can just uh, switch the lock. Yeah, well, no. It's generally not worth, especially at this point in your careers, it's generally not worth that kind of thing. No, it really isn't. Oh. You yeah. can uh, commission uh, traps like that. Yeah. Actually, couldn't a conventional person actually get that? Or is this like... Uh, no, like traps, need, traps would need to be uh, done separately, but you have connections. Yeah, I know I can do I'm just wondering if like the other players can do this. Um, I mean, yes and no, in that it tends to be illegal or at least uh, questionably legal. Um, it, it might be the kind of thing where it is legal to own it, it is legal to have it, but if someone actually gets killed by it, then you're, you have committed murder kind of thing. It, it's going to depend on the uh, locality and stuff like that. Hmm. Braxton Braxton says to the others um, I'm having a thought there is a Wait, one <laughs> Oi, who was that? <laughs> <laughs> what, what, was, what was your thought? <laughs> Braxton says there's, there's a possible one time opportunity for us to create the narrative that Red Newell won and have us pretend to be Red Newell using his ship. If we sell off his ship and collect the rewards, that opportunity goes away. It might be worth us going to the elves with the ships and with the other two groups to see whether they think there's any use in um, masquerading as Red Newell, whether that might help us track down the orc. It might be a red herring, but it might be worth us thinking about it. I mean, as always, we could always use the ship to track down the Shrike, and it's always another bounty. We're short on money, so... Yeah, but I think we're going to have to go after this orc. From, I mean... from, from the... From the the sheer yeah. panic I saw on that elven prisoner we uh, rescued. I'm thinking we need to get after that orc. He's going to uh, need resources. He's going to need to be able to hire on on a ship in order to get out of the sphere. He can't well, inter planner. Given, given, uh, hold, hold on. Given how everything was going, do you really <laughs> think that the orc is going to be fooled by uh, maybe masquerading not. as Red Nyard? Maybe not the orc, but maybe someone that knows the orc. So, so I, you've uh, picked up uh, enough that uh, the orc signed on with Njord before he came into the sphere. Yeah. So, so Solas uh, feels uncomfortable with the idea of uh, masquerading as pirates. The only thing I could feel like it would be useful for is to cap subduing or capturing other pirates because they would recognize the ships and they wouldn't immediately attack them. Mm -hmm. And they would let us get close and we could ambush them. That's if we want to do more bounty hunting. Yeah. Uh, we can also get close to those pirates by appearing to be weaker than we are. And basically letting them attack us. I think I think that is an option that it might be worth offering to the Imperial Navy. But I think they will want us to go after the Orc. All right, well, it's, uh, I'll, let's say this. Uh, think about it during the week, and then next week we'll, you know, you'll have an opportunity to present that to the other uh, NPCs, see what they think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because... Uh, yep. uh, you know, I'll be wrong next week. You're, you're talking about <laughs> it right now. Um, all right, so then you want to check uh, the the books, correct, with the fine traps? Yeah. Okay, does someone also have detect magic up? Yes. Okay. Does. 
Um, so the first place that you go is the Helmsman's Quarters here. And uh, you do not detect any traps in there, um, Solus. Mm -hmm. But the bestiary does detect as magical. Ooh. Well, Solas was already interested in the book uh, itself, but now that it's magical. I mean, aren't all books magical to you, Solas? No. Come no. on. The way you, uh, you he, sell he, he, books he, no, Knowledge is not magical, but uh, knowledge is precious. All right, uh, then you go down to the uh, did we... source versus quarters. Yep. The bestiary. Did we notice what fears time? or? Uh, which version are you casting? Or... Which version did you cast? Uh, I have the priest version, and uh, Leva has the wizard version. I think. You... Who, who, yes. who has what cast? You have to take traps. She has tech magic, so be the wizard. Well, I, well, I can uh, I can cast the detect priest version, detect can magic you? priest version later. All right, so Leva, you have the. Uh, um... Yes. All right, let me see. Wild search fire. Wild search. <laughs> One day it's going to happen. <laughs> Yeah, but no, 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 it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Laugh, laugh it's gonna... with some leaflets and he blew up and lost his dagger. I can just imagine Solas's face if Leva had to file search and destroy the book. <laughs> there, might <be laughs> some, uh, there might be some uh, violent shaking and uh, yelling involved. <laughs> that, that, that would be... Well, that would be funny if you detected magic and the book caught fire. Yeah, there's magic coming from the what? Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Considering how long old's taking, it must be a wild search. Could be. Uh, or I needed to look up what type of magic it was and then figure out what the role was and stuff like that. Oh, I'm going to put hedge guess on animal, because best or animal, I don't know, seems relevant. Um, uh, this is leather casting? Mm -hmm. Oh. What, while they're doing that, Kurt, I don't, I don't know, know anything about these fears that you're talking about. Uh, just weird things. You know priest magic works differently. Yes. That doesn't mean that it's not weird. Uh, it's radiating alteration. Hmm. While they're Ooh. doing that, can Braxa be going around the orcs room on his hands and knees, pushing the floorboards, trying to find a squeaky floorboard? Sure. <laughs> that can be part of your search. That's fine. <laughs> Braxon, why don't you go and uh, get all the, the, the shields that are hanging on the walls? In the orcs room? No, no those are in, in the those are in, uh No, 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 no. But, but I'm looking for spy stuff. Okay. God, this is our captain. Okay, so um, then you go oh, down to the uh, sorceress's room? Yes. Okay. Uh, let's see. We have an add on uh, additional text that says additional books that need to be checked or un are uninteresting. Four possible spell books. Yeah, you know all those tomes that we found, but they all did they all register as magical? No, some mm. of them did not. Oh. No, they're, they're, they're research books, therefore, so that. No, I'm on about the one that improved wisdom and the one that made me lose XP, because that's uh, totally not a solace book I read. Okay. Alright, uh, so you are detecting traps on three of the books and four of the books are detecting as magical mm -hmm. uh, which books are trapped hmm. um they're large leather bound and ha and look pretty old 
uh, those look magical, and the other one, and those are the ones that are trapped, uh, and the other one has ivory plaque covers, uh, thick paper pages, uh, and the cover has a gilt symbol of an uncut crystal on it. That looks sort of similar to the one Lebra has. Could be. I, I mean... think there's quite a lot of uh, similar looking. Mm-hmm. Do you want to do anything oh. with the uh, uh, ones that detect with traps, or are you going to wait until later to analyze them? Well, Leva has one read magic, especially to, to recognize whether something is a, is a spell book or not. Can she use that to, to look at those four books once the traps are gone? Uh, assuming that we can get rid of the traps. I mean, my ability to get rid of magical traps are half. My score, which is like forty uh, if, five. If, if it's if we can figure out its magic trap, we can uh, always try to dispel it. Yeah. Do you want to wait until next time, or do you want to deal with that right now? We hmm, don't. Let's wait magics. until next time. Okay. Yeah, we don't have the dispels memorized. Okay. Yes. All right, so uh, next session, uh, we'll go ahead and you guys can uh, present that idea to, well, you'll have time to discuss it amongst yourselves and then decide whether you want to present it to the NPCs about uh, mm -hmm. masquerading as the pirates. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, I'll give you some time to think about how you want to handle like these books. Um, mm -hmm. And I guess then we'll... we'll handle the distribution of items Excellent. and uh, money. Mm -hmm. so, so the money's now all been collected. It just needs to be put into a total then yeah. distributed. It's been totaled. Yeah. It's Is been it? totaled. Oh. Have a look. Someone totaled it. It's fallen over. Oh, there's money on the floor. So, <laughs> um, yeah, because the, uh, the NPCs are going to uh, want their, their cuts sure. uh, yeah. of the of this stuff sooner rather than later. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you guys have any questions, uh, like if you want to, you could have some conversations with the NPCs, find out what kinds of things they're interested in. Um, obviously, you've got the Star Knights, they're knights, they're going to be interested in weapons and armor and potions and stuff like that. Um, yeah. The Octave Plus Arcane, they... they have a lot of swashbucklery types and thieves and stuff like that, so they might be interested in those kinds of things. Uh, and you can use that you know, when you're thinking about what you want to keep, what you want to give give to them, what they well, get. The over. Star Knights uh, I... have told us about paladins, dwarven paladins. No, they most definitely would not have told you anything about that. No. Uh, I, know I, just... least... I know at least one NPC that is really going to be interested in that lair, most likely. <laughs> yeah, I think Braxton is also interested in that, just because he thinks it's... Brax is, Brax is busy in the orcs room. I mean, now, now keep in mind, stuff that, that uh, you know, like you're pretty sure that a certain person in the NPC's uh, groups love would fun. want, would love, uh, and you're just kind of like, yeah, it would be kind of neat. Um, especially, you know, especially if you don't know what it does. Um, that can go a long uh, way towards covering the stuff that you want. So yeah. keep Especially that kind really of stuff in mind. Um, yep. None of the items that I created, uh, that I, I generated for this, were designed specifically to go to any one group or another. So yeah, Just random items. Yep, that made sense I, for that. I don't, I don't think. Uh... Was the Elven chain magical? Just out of curiosity. I it doubt is. It, was. it is. Oh, it was. I believe so. Really, he had magical Elven chain. That's pretty uh, rare. You have yep. to be pretty high up in the offices to get magical elven gen. He's a commander. I don't oh, think there's anything well, in sense. there that, I don't think there's anything in there that Braxton wouldn't be willing to give up, so if other people in the group really want stuff he's willing to uh give away other stuff. I just, I I'm fairly presumptuous in that we're obviously returning his stuff. Because obviously he's claimed it. So yes. it's, yeah. That's, yeah, that yeah, will yeah, take definitely. care of one spellbook. Hmm. He might yeah, still... but we need to identify his spellbook before. 
He he oh, might... was he a spellcaster? Mm. Yeah. He what might still he? let you. Uh... It's just a fighting mage. So so uh, real real fast. If you would um, show him those three books, uh, the ones that you found that detect us having traps uh, in the sorceress's quarters, mm -hmm. he would say that none of those are his. Right. So. Oh. And if we showed him the fourth without the trap? He doesn't recognize it. Okay. Was, did he say if he's an arcane user or a divine user? He is a he's a fighter mage. Yeah. He's he's not he, That's he, why he, he has, has elven mail. Yeah. And if he if he if he has spell book and a bladed weapons, he's most likely mage. Well, no, I, no I, actually, I, a lot of the elven, a lot of the elven priests can use, especially priests can use uh, uh, swords. But yeah, I can use. Yeah, swords. but they don't have spell books. Hmm. I mean, I I'd, I'd comment that my brother obviously has the same style lifestyle as you, as the elf. Is he a fighter mage? He? Yeah, he's a blade singer. Oh, okay. Um. He's either a fighter mage or a blade singer. I think you allowed him to well, be then, a then singer. Well, then that would be a fighter mage. Uh, blade singer is <laughs> a fighter mage. Um, all right. So, uh, yeah, he like he would also not recognize any of the other books that uh, uh, you've discovered here. Oh, okay. Um, I, is he native? No, he's from Grayspace. So uh, what I will be... tell you, like like what you'll discover uh, in the rest of the time you have before you actually get out of the, the cave and head back up to Wild Space, um, if his spell book was on this ship, it must have been taken by that uh, orc, or it was disposed mm -hmm. of. One of those two situations is basically, or it's still hidden somewhere that you haven't found. Mm -hmm. One of those three possibilities Good. is... Around. Can we put Question? the elf in the device and find his book? <laughs> <laughs> Question? Wow. Leva, yes. If Leva were to uh, take okay, something check. close to the elf and cast tracking on that, would she, would she actually, would the, would the spell notice, uh, let's say, lead her into the, the orc's room if the orc took, took these things? No, you track the creature with tracking. Yeah, okay. And he has been the last six days. He's been in that uh, um, that small room. Okay. What I've typed in is a good way of finding out if it's on the ship. Yeah, something it could, the Aurak could have taken a spell book. That's true. Yeah, yeah, that might have been in his uh, um, his pouches too. Which means it's in the ethereal plane somewhere. <laughs> okay, so uh, the XP that you're going to get this session is 1,000. Mm -hmm. Did I get it? Because I was away for half of it. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I mean, you were here. Uh, things came up. That's unavoidable. Yeah. So when we come back next time, we'll uh, finish up and head back up into uh, space. Maybe part companies with the Star Knights and the Octave Arcane. Fight a dragon on the way into space. Maybe. Uh, Maybe. Only 45,000. <laughs> only 45,000. Yeah. Oh, I would have spoken Wow, to... Ang Hammeron, 10,000 bits. Thank you very much. That's really nice. Thank you. That's the unofficial Thank sponsor you. of the series. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. That is I... fantastic. Solas is going to be very sad when he has to part with Aelia as part of knowledge. <laughs> Give her a course to come join on me. I well, always try to lure might... her away, yeah. yeah. He might try to at least, uh, at least uh, suggest uh, having correspondence. Yeah. That's, uh, um, that's a possibility. I mean, like, I... Un un if you... They will say that um, uh, unless they, you know, if they can't meet up with you again, because uh, again, both of them do have other things to do. They're not just going to like mm -hmm. sit around at on on Reorks while you 
yeah. uh, do other stuff around uh, Crin Space. Uh, they will send on the funds to um, Brawl for you. Yeah. Would it be a letter of credit or? Uh, that will depend on how they decide to do it and stuff like that. Chances are it'll be through the company of the Chalice or the uh, Pragmatic Order of Thought. I would have... Could I... I know it's end of session, but I would have had discussions to see if I could get training for short swords, if any of them would be willing to teach me, or at least what they can. Uh, I don't... Oh, actually, yeah, Galona, um, she can give you some pointers. She has, uh, uh, she's specialized with short sword. I would love to learn what I can. Yep. But obviously that would mean, obviously me and her being on the same ship for at least for a few days. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, for the last, you know, day, you've spent a little bit of time training, but, uh, um, that's where I'm spending my next weapon proficiency. Yeah, it's something that you're going to need to, you might need to focus on mm. and stuff like that. And so, Solas is going to be trying to create a epic poet, poem of this uh, whole battle with the black dragon and the pirates and uh, give copies of it to both of the groups at some point. Last time he did that, he got kicked out of Tavern. Really? Maybe uh... you appreciate it. Yeah, but that was on the moment. <laughs> All right. Well, I want to thank you guys for playing, and thanks everyone out there for watching. We'll be back next week. Hope to see you then. See you thanks later. for the game. Thanks for everyone Take watching. Take care, everyone. Thanks for the bits.